Hi and welcome to another Holistic 3D tutorial for Unity on YouTube. In this set of tutorials, I'm going to go through and put together a very simple project using the Unity Muse tool. So I'm going to have a live conversation with it and try and get it to help me develop the concept that I'm after. Now I've done this so that you get to see not just the best of the tool, but how it actually kind of works in real life when you're trying to interact with it. The reason for putting together this tutorial is that it's part of my new course, which is Mastering Unity Muse, and you'll find a coupon for that on the screen right now. So make sure that you check that out. But in the meantime, do enjoy these tutorials that are on YouTube for you. As always, I have great support from my Patreons and they will get access to the free project files and the transcripts of the chat that are put together throughout these tutorials. Okay, so enjoy. So what I've done here is to produce this using Muse. So we're going to go through how I did this. What it is, is 3D spheres in 3D space, a line being drawn between them using the Unity GL API, and then a text box that actually sits in the middle of this line and is always in the middle of this line and displays the distance between these two spheres or game objects. Now, what you'll see as we go through this chat this very long chat with Muse is that sometimes it gets very frustrating at what it's producing and we kind of need to sort of scrub everything and start again because everything gets quite complicated. The other thing you'll find is that if you're trying to use Muse chat or any GPT type generative chatting AI to help you code in an area that you're not familiar with, it's quite difficult okay uh, because you still need to be able to critically analyze the information that you're getting back from the AI in order to put it to work for you and you'll see that in the next lot of videos as we go through where it kind of falls down and doesn't work and when we have to sort of have a look at the code ourselves and think oh, okay well that's not quite right and you've got to fix this and that sort of thing but it definitely does make the job of developing these sorts of things a lot faster by giving you sort of the necessary code. If you can just like look at the code and go, oh yeah, that looks like it's about right. Uh, it gives you a really great starting point for doing this. Okay, so sit back and enjoy. The whole reason I have done this section is pretty much an unedited section where I'm just showing you all of the trials and tribulations you have when you try and use this AI as part of your development process. It's not so perfect and shiny as you see in sort of other demo examples where things just work because they don't. So I've on purposely left this as quite a long format of this tutorial that does show you where things just don't work and um, I've left all of that in. Now this project that I have created and the script, the entire script that I go through in these tutorials is available as a resource at the end of this section attached to the last video. All right, so with all of that said, good luck and enjoy learning how to put this little project together with the assistance of Muse Chat. Mm -hmm. 